that I decided to do. I did order a frame from Amazon that has not come in yet for this bathroom. So in the meantime, I decided to spray paint an old broken gold frame that I had. So I spray painted it black and I am gonna try and hot glue it all together to make this thing work. Alright y'all, so we are almost done. 
we have done all of the labor in this bathroom, so there's pretty much nothing left to do now but to decorate. Um, I did seal my grout off camera a few days ago, so that's good to go. I have two options for mirrors that I want to put up. I'll show you. I know which one I'm leaning more towards, but I'm just going to show you both options there. Um, we have gone ahead and painted everything. Everything is nice, crisp, and white. I am going to put my towel holder up and also my toilet paper holder as well. And then we'll just bring in a few things. I'm not going overboard with the decorating. I don't want to go overboard with the decorating. I just want it to be very sleek and minimal. Um, and then we're just going to clean and get everything back to where it's supposed to be. I'm also thinking at the end of this video, what I'll do is kind of a comparison between the quote that we received versus how much it actually took for me to do this bathroom by myself, um, just to see how that turns out. And the last thing I need to also do is hook my plumbing back up. I'm probably going to have to call in reinforcements for that one because I am not trying to mess my plumbing up, honey, and I do need to put my faucet in on the sink as well. We still have a fairly good amount of stuff left to do, but y'all are going to help me and we're going to get through this together. So. You know the deal. Come on, y'all. Let's get to work. So these are the two mirror options that I have. This gray one it came with the vanity set and the circle one I purchased from Target. Now I'm going to go ahead and install my faucets. I am an instruction reader, so I'm going to read those instructions to make sure that what I am doing is done correctly. So now I'm going to go ahead and install the sink. I am going in with silicone adhesive to give the sink something to adhere to once it's in. Now I'm going to go ahead and connect my plumbing. I am going ahead and putting thread sealing plumber tape around um, each one of these pipes to make sure that I don't have any leaks and that everything does screw in properly. I'm also using Primus Putty as I am installing the sink and the drain pipes just to make sure everything is in there the way that it's supposed to be and again no leaks. We do not want any leaks. the plumbing. Yay! It took me about an hour to make sure that I did it right and I didn't have anything drip drip dropping because I ain't got time for no drippy faucets, no drippy plumbing, no nothing because that's extra money and you know I gotta keep my coins honey so 
that is done, faucets are installed, sink is installed. So now what we're going to do is install the toilet paper holder, towel rack, and mirror. And then we're gonna clean everything up to give it a nice clean slate, get all of the dust and debris out of here before we move on to our decorating. But y'all, it is after two o'clock in the morning. My entire household is sleeping. Thank God. <laughs> nice and quiet, but I'm pretty sure I'm about to wake somebody up when I start drilling, but I don't even care at this point because I gotta get this done. I'm ready to move on to the next project, but we're gonna get this done. I got you guys here with me. Y'all, we're almost done. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to see the final product. I am loving what I have done so far, so I can't wait for you guys to see it. All right, so now that all of the hard stuff is out of the way, all of the boring stuff is out of the way, it's getting into the fun part, which is decorating. I get to install my toilet paper holder, my towel holder, just the aesthetics of everything to make everything look beautiful. four screws under there that were annoying to say the least. I had to use this little tool right here to screw them in. So now that we've gotten that all done, we're going to go ahead and get this place cleaned up so that we can start bringing in our decor. We're almost done, but we're not done yet. So come on y'all, we still got some work to do. So I'm actually wiping everything down with Clorox disinfectant wipes. It was just a lot of dust and debris that was just all over the place from us working in here, things flying around. So I'm just wiping everything down. I just want everything to be nice and clean. Now I'm going in with nail polish remover to clean the grout stains off of my faucets that you see here. I had my faucet sitting on the floor when I was grouting and the grout stained terribly. So I'm, this is the only thing that I could think of to actually get it off because everything else that I tried did not work, but this actually did. And then once I do this, I'll go back in with the Clorox wipes and disinfect it.
So now I'm going in with just some Tide laundry powder and some steaming hot water. And we're gonna go ahead and get the floors together. I purchased these bottles from Amazon and also the labels came from Amazon as well. So inside of my cabinets, I usually just only keep like shampoos and hair products because we wash our hair in the kitchen sink. So I usually keep everything in here. Um, the storage containers were actually purchased from Walmart. And then I also keep our toilet paper and wipes and those sort of things in there as well. Did also purchase a new trash can for this room. I wanted something that had a top on it so that you could conceal whatever was inside.
All right, you guys, so here is the breakdown of how much I spent on everything for this project. Decor is pretty much self-explanatory. My fixtures are going to include the vanity, the wainscoting panels, um, the molding, any of that. The flooring is the floor plus the baseboards and quarter round. The tile is just the full tile for the accent wall. And then my miscellaneous section would be my tile cutter that I purchased, all of that good stuff. Um, and the total that I spent on this project was $1,288.85, which is actually pretty good compared to my contractor estimates. The cheapest contractor estimate that I got was $4,850, which gives me a total savings of $3,561.15. So not bad if you ask me. If you like this content and you want to see more please do not forget to like comment and subscribe and also hit that notification bell so that you'll be alerted every time that I post a new video I want to thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one bye